LRT Boxing. I am your host, Mr. A. And <laughs> I'm just practicing the intro, you know, trying to switch it up, keep the channel fresh. Now, like I said, welcome to Double RT Boxing. You know, the show that is presented to you by me, Mr. A, where I just talk boxing. You're ready, ready, talk boxing. Self explanatory, baby. Thank you for your time and support. Thank you for watching this show. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up from me to you for giving me the thumbs up and helping the channel grow. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Help this channel grow. Like I said, in whatever years it takes, hopefully sooner than later, I want to be sitting on a couch interviewing boxers. You know, I want to, you know, you just keep watching the show and you hear me say it more and more often. Now, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Get those subscribers up. Get this, get this show noticed. Get it noticed. Get it noticed. Get it noticed. Because I talk boxing, nothing but boxing. And that's what you want to hear. That's what you love. I love it. Okay, now, breakdown prediction time. This breakdown prediction is for the vac no yeah, it's for the vacant IBO intercontinental super lightweight female strap. That title is going to be taken um, in place for the bout of Chantel Cameron versus Edith Ramos. Chantel is 3 and 0, two knockouts for two TKOs and one uh, her first debut was a unanimous decision. Edith Ramos 6 1 and 1. I don't know how her record went. <laughs> you know. But <sighs> this should be a mismatch. But let's break it down. Feet and legs. Edith is very slow on her feet. Walks around. She doesn't her her feet are it's not to me her her feet don't look like boxing steps. They look like someone just moving in a boxing ring. You know what I mean? And her legs it's, it's no movement. It's like I said. I don't know if boxing is her second side job, but the way it just her 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 physique, her performances, that's what it looks like. I don't want to be mean. I just gotta be honest to my fans or the subscribers, the viewers. Hopefully, all viewers become subscribers. Well, that'd be awesome. I I know that won't happen, but that would be super awesome if half of the viewers become subscribers. Um. So yeah, her feet is not not good for boxing. Like I said, it looks like someone just stepped in the ring and they're walking around a boxing ring, not making boxing educated steps for punch leverage, punch distance. Now while Cameron, she <laughs> she crouches down. <laughs> you know, she's take these like watching her fight. I don't know. I I think a lot of the the over the pond. There's going to be a lot of these viewers. So I don't know how familiar you are with Shaquille O'Neal's basketball play. But if you are, he, he used to back people down with a, a very crab walk is what they say in basketball. And that's what Cameron, uh, Chantel Cameron's boxing her, her, her steps. She walks like Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> so that's what it reminds me of. Her nice wide stance. She would just, she would just, Kind of like the way Triple G, Triple G hawks you down like this. Kind of, she really her eyes open. So she's always she got a nice little wide stance, she's almost squared up though. So, uh, but she's, she's kind of almost, but she's not quite there. So she still got the little uh, back foot, front foot thing going. But she's just um, like I said. Leg wise, they're good. I haven't really seen her have to use legs as a ring generalship or even evade trouble. As of right now, her legs, as of right now, from what I've seen in her 3 0 career, her legs are mainly used for her um, punching leverage, which she gets good leverage. She's a lanky girl, you know, so she gets good leverage through the power of her legs, but her feet. Are on fire. That girl be walking you down. Good, proper. She's she's trained by a. Oh my god, I love this trainer. I always forget his name. A, a subscriber, 
even put it in the comment section on my phone. I think it's Shane McQuiggan. Something. Oh, I always forget his name. Sorry, guys. Shane something. Um, the feet goes to. Um, the feet definitely go to Chantel on that one. The defense. Both these people have horrible defense to me. Both these ladies. I think their defense is straight garbage. But if I have to pick uh, which garbage smells the least, let's see. Um, Edith, she she fights. Everything she does is kind of with her hands down. Whether she's, like I said, she makes a lot of movement unnecessary that's too far away from you. So like. What is the purpose of the movement? But it's with hands down. When she comes in, she she comes in with hands down, like, and she, and even if she wants to like hold you, she comes in hands down. You know, in close in quarters, her hands is just like she's like a half guard. A lot of everything she does is with hands down, from what I've seen. Like I said, like I said, I don't know if it's a second side job or she's just not putting in the work in the gym. But her defense. She she backs up. She's slow on her feet. Her hands are down. So her feet that her poor feet plays into her defense. She can't move to evade punches. So she just tries this hands down stuff. While Chantel, I like I said, I don't cover. I don't care what people do in the past. Gold medals for Katie Taylor. I don't care. Rigging down. I don't care. You know, so I, I know this girl, Cameron, Cameron, has a pretty good, I think, national, some type of national champion pedigree. I don't care. It's professional now. That don't mean nothing no more. So her defense in the professional ranks so far is horrible. You know, I'm hoping it's given to the fact that her she's been levels above her competition. She hasn't been fearing what's coming back at her. While she's hawking people down, people are just tagging her. You know, she eats it and she just comes with like three of her own, but she's she's eating hooks, eating jabs. Like I said, she, she does great head movement walking you down, but when she's right in you, it's it's gone. The head movement's gone. She don't roll nothing, she don't block nothing. It just she, she eats it. Like I said, it's, it's traditional for a boxer to do a head slip, you know. Once in a while those might happen, but when you like you, you see punches land on her that should not land on her so who defense whose garbage smells the least Chantel's cause her she doesn't get hit as much I should say or at least with not as many power shots as Edith does the hand speed combination the whole arm category jab for jab we are going with Chantel you know and not only is it like I said the girl has a nice boxing physique. She's linky. You know, she gets a nice little stance. I, I want to hit, I believe his name is Shane something. Shane Mix something. He's doing a nice job with her. She already has another fight lined up on another Cyclone car. I think the 2nd of December. So they're, they're getting her active. Uh, jab for jab, she's a nice linky girl. She snaps it. She, like I said, her, remember I said her legs, she gets a lot of <clears throat> her, her nice little leverage in her legs. Uh, so her her jab is better. It's crisper, sharper. Uh, hooks for hooks. Chantel has better hooks. Like I said, Edith, it's, she, she punches loopy and wide, but that's the thing. And if, if Chantel has one weakness besides her, she gets hit. Like that, yeah, she's a linky girl, but she seems to throw wide arm hooks. Shane needs to <clears throat> tighten those hooks up, and I think she'd be good because the fact I know she's linky, but they, they they're a little wide and a little armish. So I, like I said, it's, it's delivered with a arm. It's a strong arm punch. But it's a horrible arm hook, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna, I, I give it to Edith. Edith, at least her, it, it's short and cr it's 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 a little sh little cleaner. It's not as strong, but it's cleaner. So it being cleaner, I'm gonna give her a better hook. It's not as strong, but it's a better hook. Um, body game, 
Chantel easily. She, you know, she mixes it up with a hooks, uppercut. She has a nice bend. She, if, if you crouch down to her and you know, your defense is loose, which Edith is always hands down, she, she's going to catch one to the stomach. Chantel has pretty good, not just hooks to the body, uppercut to the stomach, straight up in the stomach. Um, so jab for jab, Edith, I mean, um, Chantel hooks because they're a little, a little crispier, a little bit. I'm going with Edith. They're not as, they're not strong. They're just shorter. They're shorter, and Chantel's are too wide. You know, Edith could have a chance to go right down the middle of that hook, man. And punch and speed, Chantel all the way. That girl, that girl has too much sugar in her lemonade, man. She's she's hypered out right now. Um, let's see, speed combinations. Chantel, Edith is very, very basic. Jab, jab, hook. Nothing, nothing ain't coming too fast. Chantel's boom, boom, jabbing, hooking, hooking to body, uppercut, uppercut. So all that speed and combination and variations. She's a, she's a fan friendly brawler, but without quite brawling. She's a little, she's fan friendly boxer brawler, or brawler boxer, I should say. You know. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm pretty sure the house favorite in this matchup got to be Chantel Cameron. So so I, I'm i going to go with that house bet on this one. The, the prediction on Double RT Boxing is with Mr. A. The prediction is going to be Chantel Cameron with a second round stoppage. So she's going to become 4-0. She's going to be the new... IBO Intercontinental Super Lightweight Female Champion with a second round stoppage of Edith Ramos. I believe so, yes. So, once again, thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. Please subscribe. Help this channel grow. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Did you subscribe? I asked you, did you subscribe? You know, get on your friends, share the videos, leave comments down below. Help this channel grow because, you know, we all love boxing. We want to see more boxing talk. And this is where it's just boxing talk. Ready, ready, talk boxing. Double RT Boxing with Mr. A. Thank you for your time.